Sean Salisbury here for Open Sports. I've got the Daytona 500 on my mind. I was actually in Daytona this weekend for the 500 and for the nationwide race, and it was a bucket lister for me, so I was able to knock that off and have an opportunity to go cover it for also my new radio station, and you can find me on uh, 1053thefan.com at the CBS radio station out of Dallas. It's 12 to 3 Central Time, which is 1 to 4 Eastern, or obviously, what does that make it, 10 to 1? Pacific time, I can't keep up with these times, but it's uh, 12 to 3 Central Time on 1053thefan.com if you want to listen. Love to have more people uh, from Open Sports come on and listen to the show for three hours a day, Monday through Friday. But I was at Daytona, and again, it was a bucket list for me. I'd never been to the Daytona 500. I've been to the Indy 500. What a great spectacle. What an unbelievable um, event it is, and it's always a bummer when something's rain shortened. But the class act that is the NASCAR folks and the people in the Cup Series and just being a part of that and how fast they go and the spectacle that is um, the uh, NASCAR event, but also the Daytona 500. It's always great when uh, normally we're used to seeing the championship or the Super Bowl or the World Series at the end of the season, but that's how NASCAR kicks it off with that great race at the beginning. And uh, 152 laps of 200 laps shortened by rain, won by Matt Kenseth, who I had the opportunity, I wrote a blog about it on Sunday, had the opportunity to interview on Friday. And it was in person, and it was great because... I'm so, I'm so impressed with these NASCAR athletes and how they, and my main reason for doing this video is not only to say that I think NASCAR, the guys are athletes, which I've talked about, but how they promote their sport. I think it's awesome. They don't shy away from autographs and say not now or, or, or you know, don't go shake hands with their sponsors. Man, we could use more team sports being like that, where guys recognize the sponsorship dollar, especially in a down economy, how important it is. And I know there's some that are paying the rear end in NASCAR to deal with, just like other athletes. But I'm so impressed how, and I know sponsors drive, I mean drive not literally, but, <laughs> but it's may, maybe it is literal and figurative when they talk about driving what these race car drivers do. But the truth is, I mean, they recognize the fans and they, you know, hop in fences and a couple, an hour before the race is supposed to start there and giving speeches to people, their sponsors or fans before the event, which that's unheard of in other sports. You wouldn't do it in golf, you don't, in an individual sport, not before Wimbledon, you wouldn't do it before the Super Bowl. They do it before their biggest race of the year, which is Daytona. So I'm so impressed with the way they handle themselves. Like I said, an hour, 45 minutes before an event. They're in there on the laps during downtime on the laps talking to the announcers. Talking to the announcers during downtime when they're racing cars that go 180, 190 miles an hour. I'm so impressed with them. And, and getting back to Matt Kenseth, and a Brett Favre fan, a Green Bay Packer fan, diehard Green Bay Packer fan. It was so interesting to talk to him and then a couple days later for him to win the Daytona 500. So... Congratulations to Matt and the way that he dealt during the interview and how honest he was and, you know, was shut out in all of 2008, starts out 2009 with, with his, his big, when you win one after being shut out that long, as big a race as he'll ever win. And uh, I'm sure he'll say that. But the thing that hurts is I hope nobody out there is questioning, ah, oh, it was rain delayed, rain short, and I wrote about it in my blog. So it really isn't a big victory. It's a huge victory. And Matt Kenseth was crying afterwards, so don't tell him that it's not a huge victory. But while I congratulate Matt Kenseth, I would have loved to have seen a full race at Daytona. But you know what? You can't control the weather. And Matt Kenseth did everything necessary to make sure he avoided a wreck and to keep that car. You know, sometimes it's not the sprint. Even though it's Sprint Cup, it's the, it's the marathon and the finish. And that's exactly what Matt Kenseth did. So congratulations to Matt. But more importantly for me is how these athletes deal with the fans and how they not only protect their sponsors, but are also very, very good. And that's why... People in a downtime keep spending money. I know there's cutbacks, but they keep spending money for sponsorships and for the ability to be a part of NASCAR. And I'm honored that NASCAR took care of us and that I was able to be a part of that um, this weekend at the Daytona Motor Speedway. It was a great feeling for me, and I can promise you I'll go back. Congratulations to Matt Kenseth, and congratulations to all those drivers who get it, who understand fan-friendly and understand that sponsors and people who spend the money drive the sport and right up until race time and even during race time they make sure that the fans and the people who are watching and listening get their money's worth i'm sean salisbury for open sports did you know you could win an autographed jersey from john elway sign up for the drive off season challenge today and get an automatic entry then play every day for daily prizes at opensports.com